While waiting for the start of the Schwalb Classic, prelude race for the 2020 edition of the Tour Down Under, Darren Hicks rode by wearing a rainbow jersey. I wanted to find out more about his cycling and his world championship winning conquests. With absolutely no notice, and while he was still sitting on his bike after contesting a street race in Adelaide, he agreed to an utterly impromptu interview to tell some of his remarkable story. The audio quality isn't great, but Darren expressed himself with honesty, integrity, and answered a few rather blunt questions about his cycling, his bike, and the impact of an accident he had in 2014. I'm talking with Darren Hicks, and you're packing your bike tonight to go to the World Championships. Yeah, so we have Track World Champs in Canada uh, for 30th of January to the 2nd of Feb. And I'm just going to pan back to show you what that means, because quite clearly you've done pretty well at these things in the past. Yeah, so uh, I'm current uh, three kilometre IP World Champion and also a Road TT World Champion. And uh, the punchline is uh, you're riding with one leg. Oh, and I don't mean to say it's a punch. No, it is what it is. I uh, um, think that the right way. No, it's fine. It's, I had a, a car accident in 2014, uh, started racing again, or racing bikes again in 2015, uh, and started sort of professionally in 2017. Uh, since then we've got a few different World Cup and World Champs medals, but this year, uh, well, sorry, 2019 just gone, uh, two World Championships and a World Record. Wow, so what's the world record for 3K? 3K IP, yeah. So three, 3 minutes 33.2. Oh, what sort of wattage you put in it? Uh, 320, 30 average. Oh, yeah. Have you got calves of steel or, or calf of steel? Calf of steel. It's just training, mate. That's all it is. Just hard work, putting in the hours. We have Same with everybody. The I raced BMX and did some mountain biking and things like that, but um, never professionally. Uh, and then just sort of started riding again for rehab, really, uh, and then enjoyed it. Uh, didn't really think I had much of a chance to do well or anything like that, and then, yeah, just started training more, riding more, and things started to sort of come together. I contacted Paralympics Australia. Uh, I just sort of gave them, I think I gave them a phone call and said, look, this is my impairment. Um, I think I might be interested in racing. Can you point me in the right direction, basically? And that was as simple as it was. They, they put me in, in contact with a, a group of paracyclists in Adelaide. Uh, I had a ride out at the velodrome, uh, and then I just started riding on the road after that, basically. It was all very simple. <laughs> What's the best uh, outcome of your bike for you? Is it mental? Is it physical? What, yeah. what do you get from it? Oh, a little bit of everything, really. I mean, uh, the the car accident I had was was not a not a very good time, that's for sure. So I used the bike as a way of getting through um, some pretty rough patches, and also the, the physical side of, of exercise is always going to be helpful as well. So uh, twofold with with mental as well as physical, that's for sure. For the most part, if you looking at me from my left side most people can't tell that I'm impaired yeah. you know and then either way when when you're out in a bunch no one cares whether you've got one or two legs as long as you're keeping up as long as you're pulling a turn that's all that matters and I really enjoy that and is there uh, if you're walking have you got a prosthetic yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so racing where well, anything sport wise on one leg but every other day or every other part of my life is too so um, as normal as you can imagine I was really keen to go for the S5, especially because of how stiff the bottom bracket is and, and the front end as well. Uh, and then the aero side of it is just extra special, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the my time trial bike, the P3 as well. So um, same thing, really stiff bottom bracket. Um, it's just perfect for, for what I need as far as my impairment and the way that I pedal. Um, I need a really stiff bottom bracket to, to transfer really good power. So. Uh, Cervelo is right up there as one of the best, I think, as far as stiffness goes. Um, they look damn good. It's really good to, to have a local company that um, is, is willing to help out Paris especially. Um, and I think I'll, yeah, where possible, I'll, I'll continue riding Cervelo's forever. I think they're, they're amazing. And when you're going up Northern Summit, do you sometimes, you know, have you, you caught people and then ridden by and then heard something from behind? Yeah, it's always it's funny because we, we do a lot of reps up uh, Norton actually and a lot of the time where we start off slow and then we have our 
um, start point where we have to do a, a five or eight minute effort. The bill will come past me and I think they, they think, oh, that, that's probably fair, I should be faster than the one-legged guy and then actually start my effort and fly past them and it, you, you get some funny looks, that's for sure. But um, I think, well, my best, best up Norton, if it gives anyone an idea, is 16 minutes 10 and 312 watts. Uh, yeah. I'm so impressed. I'm that's, so impressed. That's just yeah, that the mind boggles. I'm really still just bike riding. I just do it with one leg instead of two. Yeah, 15. Uh, Hixie 37 is my handle. By the way, cycling Australia or cycling team. I'm following you in about two minutes. Brilliant. That's awesome. Thanks for having me. Right. No, you're welcome.